Hi, I'm Leo Raz, and I'm here with Fox 411. <laughs> Oh, it's a long story, but um, actually I met, uh, I used to be in the Special Forces in Israel when I was younger. And I met a good friend of mine, Avi Zakharov, uh, who, know, who we know each other from Jerusalem when we were very young. And we met in a special event in the West Bank. I can't say why and how and where, but and then I met him and he asked me a very important question. He asked me if I have a dream. We were just sitting together and I said, yes, I have a dream. I want to write something about the special forces, about undercover units, about their, the price, the mental price that they are paying. And also I wanted to talk about the Palestinians. Because in Israel, nobody talks about the Palestinians in the culture scene, in the Israeli culture scene, unless you are Palestinian. And Avi said that he had the same dream for a long time and he, he said that we, why we, should, we wouldn't write something. And I said, okay, let's do that. And we started to write for the first time in our life because we never wrote anything, um, you know, scripts. Avi is a journalist, but I, I never wrote anything. And that's it. This is how, how we started to think about it and write about it. But it's a, a lot of the things that you see there, it's based on our experience in life. I didn't expect anything, actually. I thought that nobody would see the show. I thought just me and my mother and Avi's mother and father, that's it. <clears throat> but I know now this is the most viewed show in the Arab population in Israel. Because few things, first of all, we honor their language, we honor their, their narrative, and we respect them. And we betrayed the characters, not just like a flat character, just the bad guys as you see in so many TV shows and movies uh, all over the world. When you see the bad guy, he's just a bad guy. That's it, you don't have wives, you don't have kids, he's, he's not in love with someone. And, and now, and for them, it was for the first time that you see a terrorist with real life. And this is why I think they love the show. And sometimes, I, I'm getting a lot of emails from Arab countries, uh, people who see the show in Arab countries now, and also in Palestinians as well. And they're saying that this is the first time when they see the show that they feel compassion to the Israeli side. But to the opposite as well. I see right-wing Israelis who's telling me this is the first time that they feel compassion for the, so for the Palestinian side. In the beginning, we were very, it was frightening, you know? We didn't know what to expe accept, expect. And first of all, I think we, we canceled the first day of shooting because we were afraid. We didn't know what to do because it's an Arab village inside Israel. There is, you know, missiles going down, coming down at us. So we didn't know what to do. And, but then we talked with the mayor of Kfar Qasim and he said, come on, come, everything will be okay. And actually, this outside Kfar Qasim and in Kfar Qasim as well, there was a war in Israel. But we were together like a month and a half in Kfar Qasim. Arabs and Jews working together in like a creative, peaceful bubble. And it was amazing. It was the hospitality, it was amazing. And the people, you know, the missiles don't know from Gaza, don't know if you're an Arab Israeli or Jew Jewish Israeli. So for everyone, it was the same stress. And it, it was stressful, you know, because every day you hear something else at the news. And there was Arab actors and Israeli and Jewish actors. All of us were, we are Israelis, but sometimes it was stress, but it was an, an opening of dialogue that gave us the opportunity to understand the other side and for them to understand us. So I think it was an amazing experience.